I love my old Arakoa cosplay, but I wanted to do something to bring it up to my current level of skill. In this video, I'll show you how I made these brand new monster feet. My Arakoa cosplay is still to this day one of my favorite costumes to wear. I made it for BlizzCon 2014, and my skills have greatly improved since then. I ended up taking this to Akon this year, but before I went, I took some time to update a little bit of it so I could have something new to show off. Here are the original feet I made for the Arakoa. They, there's three toes. This is made out of fleece. The claws are made out of minky. The fur cuff actually has Velcro in the back. And this headliner foam, there was enough room on the inside for my foot to slide into it. And then on the bottom, I just have an EVA foam mat. In all honesty, these were an afterthought and the last part that I made, and I was never ever happy with how they looked. So I was very glad to make another set for Akon. So here's how I did it. I started by taking my foot orthotics and some headliner foam and cutting out some pieces. What I'm trying to do here is basically create like a boot liner um, out of this headliner foam to be the base of the foot that I need. I used my custom orthotics in there because I wanted to make sure those fit because I need to wear them in costume to feel comfortable. So next is just a process of sewing it together. Now this material was a pain in the butt to sew. I don't have any tips for how to do it. I just muscled through it, but even with a walking foot, it was kind of terrible. Um, it does like to shift and get stuck, especially on this foam side, but I wanted the black soft lining material to be on the inside, so I just muscled through. Next up, I took some scrap pieces of upholstery foam that I have and just started carving the toes. And just using hot glue, I just started, started putting them in place. Now these are just very roughly chopped out and after I get the glue set so they're on the, the little booty, then I start refining the shape with my scissors. I also wanted to carry the toes up a little higher, that the division of the toes, so I was taking some flatter pieces of upholstery foam to create the distinction between the toes. And if it all looks a little hacked together, it is, but that method works for me. Here I am, I used a little piece of paper to test out the size of the claws that I will be adding on. That line that I have drawn on the back of the heel is very important because I'm actually planning on doing a, a false heel. I'm going to be covering that part of the booty in black material to be able to hide the heel part so that your eye is only drawn to what the foot part is. You'll see more of that illusion later. Here I am gluing layers of EVA foam together uh, just and rough chopping them with a snap-off blade to, to get a claw-like shape. I wanted these claws to be especially gnarled, like and, and the feet too. The Arakoa are a cursed people, and so they wouldn't have very nice looking feet, I'd imagine. There isn't much detail in the game model, so I was able to just use my imagination for these feet.
Next, I used my Dremel to sand out the rough chop shape and this kind of, I'm just basically trying to get a sort of smooth outer shape before I start hammering in a bunch of gnarly details. I'm just basically digging the drum into the claw, creating what would be cracks and different layers and different planes that are across to make them look really nasty. I didn't get any footage of it, but after this step, I took it and burned in some details with a wood engraver and that gave it an extra layer of crackage that you can see. Now in this shot you can see that I've already painted them just using some dry brushing and washes to create, to, to really make those details pop. So now it's time to do the skin layer on these feet. Uh, I decided to do this with fleece and the idea was to pinch and glue along to create some organic looking wrinkles across the foot. Now this part took me a lot longer than I was expecting, but I had patience and kept going and I was able to achieve a look that I was satisfied with. It definitely isn't as detailed as if I were to sculpt this foot out of clay and cast it with something, but for direct fabrication, I thought that it did pretty well. It just takes a lot of patience to be able to get the exact look and the exact folds that you want. That was showing just a little trick I like to use. When you're running low on hot glue, just glue the next stick to your previous stick and it'll help hold it in the gun. And you can see on this part, I'm rolling the fleece under itself and leaving the heel part exposed. So this is a pretty simple illusion to make a more animalistic foot and get that digit grade appearance without having to be balanced on your toes like with stilts or with those high heels that, that people cut the heels off of. Um, it does take some suspension of disbelief to not imagine the heel there. But I find that if, if you're like me and really value the comfort of your costumes, then it, it is a good illusion. Um, and you can see I'm just closing up the back with a Henson stitch. Now you can see there's some parts on the tips of the toes that I didn't cover with the solid piece and that was the good thing I found about this material is that you could hide transitions between different pieces inside of the wrinkles. I intended to rough chop the fleece the way I did just in case any of those cut edges were exposed it would look more organic rather than a really harsh straight edge. So don't feel like you have to cover the whole piece in, in one piece of fleece because I think that's where a lot of my difficulty came from. If I allowed myself to cut more pieces and hide them, it, it would have been a little simpler. But here I just took a piece of black felt and to cover up the back of the heel. And you can see I chose to hot glue a rubber mat on the bottom of the foot, and that was a mistake. I should have used contact cement because the hot glue did not hold and it immediately fell off when I started wearing them. So use contact cement if you're gonna do that same thing. Here I'm getting out Creature Cast Rubber. This is a neoprene or a synthetic latex that I'm gonna to use to cover the foot. And I did go and drop in a few drops of a red paint. And when this dries, it'll dry darker than what you see I'm painting on now. But this will just sort of make the surface of the fleece uh, more like a rubberized texture. And it, it'll also make it easier to paint and 
add some color variation. So here I am just painting on a layer. So here's the foot with the first layer sort of dry and I decided to go in with another layer just to cover up some spaces that I'd missed before. And when while that's drying, I'm also applying some cotton balls dipped in the creature cast to create some warts and other finer wrinkles just around where I think that they would be needed. And now that the creature cast is completely dried, it's time to paint. So I'm mixing up a shadow color for the wrinkles, kind of a purpley color. And I was, I started out with the intention of airbrushing the details, but my airbrush was acting up. It was clogging. It wasn't spraying out as intended. So I quickly abandoned the airbrush after a while and just resorted to using a paintbrush, which worked okay in the end. It does create a very cartoony, very harsh paint look, more harsh than I wanted to make it, but they're feet and I accepted it for what I could do at the time. I also took some lighter color red, mixing a lighter color red to hit the tops of the wrinkles with a sort of dry brush effect to you know, just add a little bit more depth to them. So I'm satisfied with the paint job, so I peeled off the masking tape and went to complete the look by adding on these fur cuffs that I had sewn previously. I really like this fur. It's the same fur that I used on the head of the Arakoa and the arms, and it's just really nasty and just looks like gross feathers. So here's the finished feet, and you can kind of get a sense of the illusion that I was going for with the heel and just see how the completed look and how they move. Overall, I'm satisfied with the look. I know they might be a little bit over the top and cartoony. It's not a subtle paint job by any means, but they are the feet of the character and while wearing the full thing at Akon, it turned out really nice. I'd also like to add that I think that these feet match the head so much better. They look like they belong on the same creature than the other feet did. Unfortunately, now they make the hands kind of stand out in a bad way. So I think those will be the next part that I remake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section if you did. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I am so close to 10,000 subscribers, and once I get there, some really cool features on YouTube will unlock to me so I can improve the channel even more. I'm Kazool, reminding you to embrace your inner beast.